Right, let's look at if we can. What was the center problem? From here, I want to try and get Ryan's um, left hand behind his back. It's always the center problem in, in Donner's back attack system. From this dorsal position, we've showed you lots of things to do from here. Let's just say I cannot get his arm behind his back. We need options from this position. So from here, I keep the Chimera trap. I'm going to glue Ryan's left elbow okay, to, my, to my pack. And I'm going to bring my left ear to his left elbow. Once I'm there, I'm going to back step with my leg. This hand releases and comes around and re-grabs the Chimera trap again. And now from this position, I just slide my knee behind, sit back, step over. And now from here, I'm bringing Ryan into the back game to shuffle towards the perfect. So now we are in our position again. I'm not, um, you'll be okay on this, Johnny won't. So I'm just gonna go for direct grips. So once I'm here, I want my hands covering Ryan's hands. Again, I can see the way I'm protecting that bottom hook. Ryan wants to get his ass over that, take a back a step. So again, I'll probably be playing post rear mind. So I'll bring my foot onto his um, right hip and I'll be pushing down on that and raising that hook. So my left hook is significantly higher. So again, we're playing the whole game. I can stuff this down and tie it up and all that stuff. But let's look at the best option. We, we're going to switch to double cross or, or we'll go to single cross first. So from here, I'm going to release with the control hand and find single cross with this position. More than likely, Ryan is going to try and deal with that grip, which now gives me double cross, which is the best position on the back. Again, I'm using this rope on knot grips. When I'm doing direct grips, I'm covering the knuckle line with the palms of my hands. When I switch to cross grips, it's thumb and, and second finger, try to pull your arm back that way, this rope on knot grip. So now I just push that down, tie it up, and put my shoelaces behind his back. Now from here I switch back, and now I have that control hand again. All Ryan has is now a touch in, so an uncontested um, hand. So now I just make that palm heel, and I start at the ear, and I start to punch it underneath, come under the chin. Once I get to that position, this hidden hand principle, I put my hand around his jugular and I just cover it from here. And now I'm pulling my hand back. Nothing goes in front of the shoulder line. I just make my grips. Donaher prefers withdrawing my right shoulder back over his right shoulder. Let's get another one to go on that, bro. I just come to here. Nice. So we're in the dorsal position here. I can't get his hands behind, we're going to switch to the back attack system. So from there I make connection with the elbow into the armpit and I want a level change. I'm bringing my body down low. As I back step with my leg, I keep connection. Notice the way my shoulders really, I don't want Ryan being able to pull that left arm out. And in one movement, I come underneath and get his head inside that grip. Okay, I try to move Ryan. Okay, now I just slide my knee behind, sit up, foot comes in, and now I roll from my left side to my right side. As I do that, notice the way, we'll look at the rear triangle in the next move. I don't really have the profile. I'm not ear to ear. If I want to be playing the straight jacket system, I want my ear beside Ryan's. As I roll from my right hip to my left hip, we end up ear to ear. Just shuffle this way, bro. So that movement, okay. As I roll over, it brings me and my chin is on his shoulder. Okay, immediately I go to post rear mount to protect that bottom hook, and then I just let go of the Chimera trap and find direct grips. We can do the system from here, that's, that's an, an option, but we'll just go for the best grips to start with. So once I'm in that position, I'm gonna let go and switch to single cross with a rope on that grip. More than likely, Ryan will try to strip that, now I've double cross. Now I push that below his pec line, Tie it up and then switch back. Now all he has is a top chin, so we just make that flat fist on her calls it. Start at the ear. Once I wedge it in, tuck your chin really deep. Once I wedge it in, now I can open my hand and I can walk this across. 
once I get my wrist underneath his chin, I just punch that through until the crook of my elbow was around his neck. And then I cover that with my chin. Once I'm there, now I can pull this back, find my tricep and my tricep. And now from there, all I'm gonna do is withdraw my right elbow. So it's that rotation principle. I'll just do the Johnny so you can see it well. So you're on your right side, nice. Perfect. So we're here. Just stay on that side, bro. So I've made the Camera Trap grip. Okay. Can't get the hands behind. So now we're going to take the back. So from there, I keep his elbow glued and a level change. So I'm bringing my head close. As a back step, notice the way I try to free your arm. I'm keeping this arm glued until I can come around and re grab again. Then I just slide my knee behind. I'm on my hip. Notice the way I'm not on my knee. Tuck your knees to your chest. I'll never get that in. I sit on my hip, tuck your knees to your chest. I'm an old man, I can still get that in there. Notice the way though now, we're looking at the next move. If I can't get head, uh, ear to ear, when I roll from my right side to my left side, I'm ear to ear. And now I'm in um, posterior mount. Just let's get this way, bro. Stay in that position, nice. Perfect. So, ear to ear, and I still have the Camera Trap. First thing is, protect the bottom hook. Post rear mount, okay? Let go, direct grips. But now we want double cross. So now I just let go with the control hand, and find single cross with a rope and knot grip. He always will try to peel that off. There's double cross. And you just push it down, tie it up. Once I tie it up, I'm back into that position. He's no hands to defend, tuck the chin, flatten fist. Get under the ear, between the ear and the chin, and push through. Try to connect your chin to your chest. Once I have that, now I can open my hand, and I just walk it along until the wrist is there. Once the wrist is there, my goal is to get the elbow there. I just punch that through, and there's that hidden hand. Okay. I mean, if, if sometimes um, Johnny might clamp his elbow to his body, left elbow to your body, and I can't free that. So then we can just use the one hand that's in that position. If I can free it and I'm here, we just make that connection. And then it's just like that. Doesn't really matter. If I get this and Johnny somehow manages to free his hands and gets his rear naked grips in to probably chin up grip, pull up, pull two hands into my arm, probably one on one side and one on the other. But the other way around yeah, is stronger. <laughs> So I'm here. Usually, if he's pulling in this direction, um, I will just rotate back. His own hands choke him out. One more angle on it. If you just keep your head towards the mirrors there, perfect. Just butt scoop this way. Legs, legs this way. Legs, keep going. No, no, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, that's you. Perfect. Okay, so we're here. Dorsal position. Get your grips. Can't do anything with this. So pressure and level change, that's the first thing. So I'm staying low. Back step, notice the way I'm keeping this, my weights on that arm, pull that arm out. If I sit up, boom, that arm's away, especially when I let go of this hand, because I need to now incorporate head and arm. Once I'm there, it's just that, sit on the hips, everything. Tuck your knees as close as you can. Now the goal is rolling from my left to my right and getting my chin on his shoulder. That's what I'm after there. Post rear mount, direct up. Even from there, see the way he's crossed his hands? They're single cross. Yeah. And now I'm looking for double cross. Push that down, tie it up. And now from this position, back to the control hand and I start working this through. Once I'm there, pull it out. Take my time, fight it bro, fight it. Get the hand there, fight it, come on. Okay, so, um, so that's switching from that dorsal position camera trap to the back attack, the straight jacket system.